Yeah, I'm ready for the excitement. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. All ready and resituated. We have these two players starting in the first game of the loser semifinals. It's Anatand on the Chinese in the eastern side. And who else? Uh, on the western side. Western? Yeah. Western. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Uh, it's sort of. We just saw a bunch of sort of, and we're going to keep seeing sort of for a, uh, another good bunch of games. On the HRE. So let's see. He's going with the traditional three on gold, three on food, and just running into the food. Yeah, so this is one of the ones, this is a classic matchup we have seen since the beginning of times in AoE 4. A lot of, um, it's gone through a couple different transitions. I think a lot of times in the higher ELO level of play, it has been, uh, you know, a little bit HRE favored unless China does a little bit of uh, something funky to, to change up the game, whether that be Barbican Rush, whether that be just changing it up. But right now in the meta, a lot of the high elo people are afraid of the Chukanu mass. But HRE, so, so strong in general just because of their fast castle. And against Chinese, they usually want to greed. They want to go 2TC, Song Dynasty. And, uh, and it takes a while to get that going and takes a while for that to pay off. Um, will it end up happening? Only uh, time will end up telling with these build orders that we'll end up seeing and uh, how the game will end up progressing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of Shugenu spam uh, rising up in popularity and with good reason. Shugenu's are re really, really cheap. They do a lot of damage and whenever you reach a critical mass of like 20 or more Shugenu, they just kill anything. They're absolutely really, really hard to deal with. Now, in a more traditional sense, usually what happens is HRE gets to castle and they have a huge timing between castle and early imperial and uh, China needs to survive until late imperial and then they just get the upper hand. But with the new Chugenu style, you can put the pressure onto the HRE really, really easily. Yep. We'll see how this plays out. Chapel going ahead, going down, four villagers on it, right next to the wood line, backside of his TC. So th thinking long term, thinking for some safety behind the TC. We saw how detrimental a forward chapel could be uh, in the previous games today. Um, so the conservative chapel is, is something that I am all fine with seeing. He's got the space for the uh, nice farms around later on and we'll get a nice and inspired wood line for quite some time as well as some berries yeah it's a solid chapels uh placement Definitely, you will want either the stone or the, or the gold but this is very very good because like you said it's gonna last a long time on the wood and this is a very very wood heavy map um, yeah. for a long time Absolutely. Imperial Academy was half a tile uh, total away from being able to cover all the resources except stone. It's really what you love to see is being able to get three resources, but still will be able to get the mill and then his wood line for a long time as he'll refresh this lumber camp a few times. So uh, a good Imperial Academy location. One villager on top of it lets me know that Anatan's doing that class classic fast song dynasty and has you know invested heavily into the forward mill not going with the the mill next to the town center like we will see some and that's just because of the matchup you don't need to have to worry about anything coming down on top of that mill when you're playing against hre absolutely yeah, he's almost ready to start the barbican to get that fast song dynasty like you said i'm just wondering what is going to be the next step if he's going to go for a fast castle into Palace Guard or to Gnu Feudal, I'm really, really curious. On the other side, Anata, I mean, and sort of seems to be going for just a good old fast castle HRE with just the three on wood, a bunch on gold, and everything else on food, but it seems he's. No, he has enough food yet. So, so uh, Anatand over here, usually with the faster song build, you'll actually end up aging up with the gold vills because you want to end up having wood and having some other things for production or things of that sort. But uh, pulled some vills, I think, from the initial wood and 
is going up with three vills on the Barbican. So wondering if Anatan might try to go for a, a, a song fast castle timing um, to be able to have crossbows to deal with, you know, a potential Burgrave fan. But the thing about no Burgrave is, or about Burgrave against China, not nearly as effective because of hand cannon slits out of town centers and outposts and Barbican of the Sun. So, a little bit harder for him here and even see an outpost being invested into by sort of and a farm already being dropped under the chapel villager going idle for a little bit under the town center um so anatan you know i would say right now as far as the opening is going is sitting nice and happy while sort of is investing a little bit more into almost defense and and kind of conservativeness um First archery range being dropped, that means Chukanu can start being pumped on out. Gonna have more than enough gold, more than enough wood for this. Imperial official number, we see uh, the first three out, not a fourth one yet. But if they choose, if he does choose to supervise this archery range, it will start pumping these out. I think it's six seconds a pop, um, which is just crazy how fast they'll start pumping out. Yeah, Chuganu definitely a little bit too strong, a little bit too cheap, a little bit too fast to produce, in my opinion. You definitely need a bit of an adjustment, I help with. And there it is. Bargrave! Oh! The burger is out, and Anatan immediately spots it out. So what is his reaction? What is his plan going to be? Not only is it the Burgrave, it's the blacksmith. So that means ranged armor, and then second ranged armor should, op uh, and, well, you need marching drills as well, should be the first couple upgrades, because against these Chukanu, they fire those triple attacks so ranged armor is three times as effective sort of even doing the classic i'm going to use three villagers just do one drop off because that's enough for an arrow slits upgrade for the hre absolutely this is this is a big gamble for sort of it will hide or, this is like I said, I'm not gamble. This is will either go very, very good for him or will go down <laughs> oh, talk very about good. a gamble. This is Anatan going for the boar, and it's immediately spotted by sort of. Oh yeah, this is not great because this means the first couple of men at arms, they don't even need to be castled. They just need to go there and they fully deny this this food. And, and now he knows that sort of spotted it out though. He will end up losing a villager here. Starting to kind of idle out the military. This is when uh, things start to get worrisome. Sort of will have enough for, you know, three or four minute arms right off the bat. And uh, after another drop off or two, I'm sure he'll end up getting the upgrades as the first couple come out and they uh, start massing up. Yeah, absolutely. This is this is very dangerous for both sides. He had, uh, Anathan has enough Shugenu to be able to deal with a small amount of minute arms. But as soon as the men at arms start getting into like the five, six, seven, this Shugenu are not gonna do much against them. Only thing I'd be worried for if I were sort of is Anatan just getting a tower with hand cannon slits. Like the hand cannon slits do so much more than what people realize against these men at arms. Even with armor, they do that higher flat damage. But yeah, uh, not, again, not if there's a 50 of them with the Burgrave, but it takes a while and it takes a ton of resources. Absolutely. This is uh, very, very scary for Anatan. The first couple of minute arms are about to get to that boar and will deny a lot of food economy. The two canoes are very, very cheap, but the problem with them is that they require all three resources. That means he cannot really build up a bank for an outpost. I'm also shocked that Anatan didn't end up pulling back or didn't end up building an outpost here considering he knew that sort of scouted it. He knew that sort of was going to pressure this. If I saw someone go after the boar, I'd immediately go after it. And sure enough, that's exactly what he does. A scout running in through the uh, the farms. It's nothing scary. And Chukanu starting to fall back, starting to make sure to defend this eco as he is quite close to going up to Castle Age. Still heads home, gets out with his life, going onto the berries. Again, not the uh, not the safest food. Villagers go idle, finally run out of sheep. And Chukanu mess. I mean, look at that. Yeah. This is the point where Chukanu starts to be very, very dangerous, even though against armored units. Because one volley, sure, they each deal one damage, but 
it's one damage times three times however you know you have so right now all of these two are dealing 60 damage to a minotaur that only has 155 hp so three volleys and they're dead not only that if he steps into range of the barbican that's some higher flat damage we do see the upgrade come through but yep just getting kited on out and this is going to be the time where anatan goes up to castle age behind this he's been song dynasty so he's up 12 villagers and zero damage has come out for sort of we have seen sort of capture two relics but relics not quite as effective not quite as strong anymore especially without regnants and burgrave it seems like it's one of those kind of like quicker payoff things and right now he's gotten one vil kill and that was with his scout yeah anatan yes, slowly yes. kiting this out right as castle h hit he needs to get his upgrade on through sort of getting his second upgrade to ranged armor anatan trying to do a split get, had a few crossbows come out which allows his chukanu to just sit there and go untouched which this is lovely not only that hand cannon slit out of the town center helping on out but an imperial official gets taken out he's not the only one there's two more right near and close are they going to get focused on in two crossbows kiting out they are the main extra damage now that we see double range yeah, this is not a good situation right now for sort of yeah, all his men at arms are getting cleaned up. Killed a few more vills on the berries on the south, but a few vills isn't quite enough yet. Look at Anatan 2 moving out with 11 vills all the way on the northern side, going for some deer, going just out in the middle of nowhere, going, all right, well, hopefully you just don't spot this out and, and a little bit risky because he also knows he's just holding this. He's about to start pushing this back. And how is sort of going to deal with this? Typically, it's going to be a horseman transition, um, but you're going to need a lot of horsemen to deal with this and Antan can just continue to make Chukanu and crossbows. Yeah, this is, and he has no uh, infrastructure in order to do this horseman. Oh, the only thing he has is a bird grave, so he's stuck making mirrored arms for now. And Anatan, yeah, he's lost a couple of villagers, but he's on song. He's been pumping them a little bit faster than his opponent, and overall, he has nine more villagers. So this is not a good situation right now for sort of. Uh, he, but he's doing the right things right now. He's just looking around, moving around with his men arms, looking for any damage he can find around the map, because right now he cannot fight this uh, Chuganu crossbow mass. 12 Chuganu and 5 crossbow will, I think they will one shot the men arms, or close to. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, whoa, well, it did! Oh, that was close! I think he would have killed it, but it's he, gonna he die. probably would have killed it. But it's always scary once the activation's gone off when or started before you get inside the circle. Six minute arms circling around the backside, but spotted out by the town center. And what's Anatan do? Immediately get a couple crossbows, and he's gonna make a few more and just chase around that mass, not allow it to do anything. And again, feeling pretty happy, stabilizing his eco. Denied a relic, killed a prelate sort of starting to wall up but sort of he has a ton of farms so we'll have a long-term boosted food economy with the chapel and has a ton of them inside that chapel circle yeah the problem is that bird grave is about to fall off it has a really strong initial, initial punch but then it just like well i have the counter units for the mentor so what are you gonna do you need to start uh Placing down production for let that be stables or God forbid archer ranges on a jury, but we'll, we'll let it slide. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm one. I'm an advocate that I'm. I've been the one saying that uh, a lot of civs they they can't just be one dimensional. You gotta sometimes throw in in units. And Anatan goes back for the boar. Not only that, going to grab the relics now as he saw that sort of has secured up a couple of relics already. Yeah, sort of has so many relics. Two on uh, outpost. Two. I'm not sure if he grabbed that third that he was bringing back or if Anatan was able to steal it. And it looks like Anatan stole that relic from the prelate that he ended up sniping. He also spotted out these uh, men at arms, it looks like, going to protect, or he was just going to protect this uh, monk. 
escorting it, and there are six men at arms chasing, uh, chasing, going after that boar potentially. But Chukanu are already there, firing down on the men at arms, which will allow the villagers to go untouched at least. Yeah, and, but he needs to run away with the Chukanu. Mm. He cannot just stand oh, there yeah. and fight. <gasps> and yeah. men at arms split off. Anatan's going to need to watch out for that. And at the same time, the deer on the northeastern side are starting to be focused by sort of as well. So good, good job spotting out some of the eco by Anatan or uh, spotting out some of the eco sort of of Anatan's and idling out a ton of vills. Yeah, but on the, on, in the meantime, Anatan has not just been running around with Eco. He's slowly transitioning into granary farm. And once he gets like two, three granaries down, they're on par with Chapel, so it's just a matter of time before Anatan secures an stable and good uh, food income and manages to take down the Predator during the Wololo. That is the last relic on the map, by the way, so it's gonna get really, really intense, I expect, in the near future. And it's still only men at arms coming out of sort of 33 up for, as I say, that first night in production finally. But there's already a significant amount of crossbows, and Anatan has uh, triple stables now, so might make that transition himself once he has stabilized his food. But starting to clear up a few more of these men at arms while keeping his crossbows in mass into enough to where they're able, go uh, able to actually do something against the, uh, the men at arm mass. Yeah, at this point, it's just like they're both starting to just make good high value units and throw them at each other and see what they can get. Because the men at arms are going to be good defensively, but not so much offensively once the Lancers start coming out for uh, China. Because the extra mobility. So he needs to use knights of his own, or horsemen in this case, I guess, um, to be able to have a foothold on the map and try to confine China to a small corner because if he lets China just get out of their base comfortably, this is a, going to be a very, very difficult fight. Not only that, if you think about it, Anatan, the units he's making with crossbows it and, uh, and the Chukanu, it allows him to kind of save up a little more food. He currently has 1,400 food in the bank. Um, while having the even military numbers essentially starting to push out a little bit, starting to wall up, protect some of these resources. And just as you said, those granaries will start being able to pay off and he should end up getting a second one in there and moving over to the stone finally. So might be thinking about an additional TC or keep. I think we should definitely add a second TC. Yeah, the granaries, which will support the second TC production on their song. And he doesn't quite need a keep yet. He's not under any significant pressure. There are, yes, there are a couple of men at arms annoying him on the back, but it's not anything significant that he should just worry about to secure a, a specific zone of the map with a keep. And there's the horseman transition that I was talking about that was going to be needed out of sort of. So perfect, perfect transition that Anatan had not spotted out. Anatan's military mass is split up. Doesn't have the Chukanus on the, on the, together with anything. It's actually mainly crossbows at this point due to the massive men at arms. And a horseman on top of a lot of those taking some good picks. But Anatan starting to get siege as well. And the horseman number is starting to be thinner and thinner. Having to fall back away, men and arms starting to be thinned out as well. And just a decent little trade back and forth from either side. But in my opinion, any sort of military trades that are close to even is a benefit for Anatan because of the eco. Absolutely. Sort of is adding his second town center, which is only being built by three players. He really needs to rush that. But and with that, he will be able to slowly equalize the villager count unless uh, Anatan decides to put down another town center which at this point I'm not sure because he has mined a lot of stone he has a lot of stone while as he's keeping his wood resources low continuing to produce continuing to get upgrades and not going heavy there I think this is going to be a keep for some uh, more map control 
potential middle sacred site control um you know could be a lot of various things or he could honestly think about gold denial but look at what sort of's doing he is the one dropping in a second town center himself on the secondary gold that he had had to move over to yeah this is interesting i'm quite curious about what Herdan is going to do with that with that stone in the meantime he's securing the middle sacred so he has his, his nest of b and there's not a single sprinkle for sort of, so that SSB is going to be a big pain to deal with. Not only is there no, no sprinkle, there's no siege workshop yet. Um, only sprinkled emplacements. So yeah, definitely going to be hard to deal with unless the horsemen are able to dive on it, which there's no spears for Anatan yet. It's only lancers. So the horsemen actually have a kind of easy path to that unless the crossbows can surround the nest of bees pretty well. Yeah. If he manages to get us around onto the nest of bees. But we saw it in the last series with Poppy Paw, he will just have a, a bunch of siege and a bunch of crossbows and whenever the uh, the siege was getting doubled, he just put all the crossbows on top of the siege and that bought enough time for the siege to do their work while the crossbow just acted as a meat shield. It's a uh, couple horsemen circled around raiding the granaries of Anatan island them out for a second but Anatan he moves up with 14 villagers and he's going for a keep drop in the self force by the secondary TC somewhat near Burgrave the question is will sort of have vision of this with the outpost on his gold he does he sees it it's easy he has military there and not only military he has land snakes there if land snakes dive on the bills that is over for the Vils. He's starting to move forward. I think Anathan needs to move back. He has his military here. It's going to be it's close. It's China. It's China. They just... Yeah. Make... Keep goes up too fast. Horseman Flake comes around. And the keep is about to finish. Nest of Bees first shot in. Villagers jump inside the keep. Crossbows on the backside, just making sure to protect up those Nest of Bees, which it did. They did to perfection. And so much military there. Nest of Bees, huge fire on the backside. And the Lancer's still alive. And this location for Anatan is going to be massive. Gets a total amount of vil uh, vision into uh, a lot of sort of space. Has that second town center location as well that sort of just dropped. That is a big payoff. And v Anatan can start dropping siege workshops behind if he wants. Get forward easy siege right behind this and just start trebbing down second town center. He quick dropped a market. Um, yeah, he quick dropped a market. The proxy market. The very very scary move now i guess he is too busy like focuses on the micro at, home, you know, at the phone to go back to the market and to balance his seagull so it's a good i like this market yeah i mean it's whatever uh military jumps inside this town center town center does have emergency repair obviously so will take a significant amount of time to actually uh get taken down a few more horsemen deny villagers from finishing up a wall for Anatan, but Anatan slowly building some more forward walls, taking some more map control, has another gold behind him, but will need to secure another bigger gold. However, he has some behind his keep. Nesta B is getting focused by the town center, but doesn't really look like it's taking too much damage over time, and he can bring a vill and go heal it if he notices. Yeah, it's, uh... It will eventually die, but it will take a long time. Just come on, bring a villager. Just one. You can't let just let it die. Okay, <laughs> okay that that Okay, works. he brings it out. Ridiculous. Emergency repair has been utilized. Wood line has been basically chopped through by sort of. So having to move over to the next wood line and Anatan finishing up the walls. He has his west side essentially fully walled with some extra space if he wants to drop some additional granaries after he, you know. My, oh, and there it is. Perfect. Dropping some additional granaries next to the, the stone, next to his original granaries. So his farming eco is about to be booming, going to be closer to on par with sort of food income. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it still has a lot of wood to work through, so his farm transition is going to be very, very smooth. I just need to move all his villagers to another woodland because that one's almost depleted. But in the meantime... <gasps> Trebuchet, sort of, watch out! 
no scout here with these horsemen and this is one of the things i was talking about earlier when puppy paul was playing and that we saw with his uh his raids if they had spotted out that trebuchet that would have been a huge pickup there is a second one as well anatan he reacts he starts to pull that second trebuchet back keep going down somewhat in the middle for sort of not not taking a ton of map control but at least defending up that wood line that he knows he needs to defend yeah he absolutely needs that wood line because he needs to start getting spring goals he has two right now but he's gonna need more because those are clock tower spring goals you can't just two shot them. you need a third one. Oh, springles actually about to get taken it's attacking at a house for some reason and loses the springled because anatan's two focused on the horseman race which did end up finding out that trebuchet circle the trebuchets and should just run away from the lancers yeah uh sort of is doing exactly what he needs to do to get back into this game he's dividing Anatan's attention all over the map because he knows in a straight up fight right now uh Anatan has a better and more efficient army with all those crossbows than sfbs the lancers so what is he doing he's just using low quality units he's his horsemen to just keep him distracted and enough time just to be able to pick up a uh, sprinkle there uh, uh the, the trebuchet over here a couple of villagers just idling he just needs fight time in order to get his military r and mask back together and be able to take this head on because otherwise these units of these are just going to demolish all this melee and you said get his unit mass back together he's at 95 anatan is at 83 but as far as value goes anatan 15 500 because he's got some of those nested bees because he's got some of that siege some houses on fire potentially going down sort of dropping a keep in between his town center and oh secondary town center and the bird grave manganel coming to help in the into the mix and some well, a small raid on the backside as one lancer found some of that wood line. Villagers moving out to secure stone closer to Anatan's side, which could be spotted out. Oh, that's a uh, very ambitious uh, stone. <laughs> like lancers are literally circling. Lancers, lancers are just just around. It's like just a, a tiny step and there we go and they there it them. is they spotted on out significant amount of villagers are going to go down there the secondary tc is on fire sort of is all the way both players are pop capped right now at 200 um so it is time to start seeing these armies and militaries open up sort of losing more and more villagers down at 89 80 Ooh, i was about to keep counting down but no and yes it is the wood line Oh, he finds the woodland with all those lancers. This is a very, very good find by Anatan, and he's gonna end up fighting a lot of villagers. He's gonna find the the gold too. Ooh, oh, and that's... there's only one outpost on the gold. There are a few spearmen here, but spearmen, eh, compared to you know a good amount of grouping of lancers, Anatan decides not to take it and just continue to run around, continue to distract this military because at the same time, <gasps> he is trying to move up, take down the. Keep, Ooh, he gets but the trebuchet. sort of picks up that trebuchet, has a trebuchet of himself, transitioning this into more of the siege war. Raid coming into Anatan's bases. He never finished those walls in the middle. He's still he's still starting to build them on up. Seven or eight more horsemen run on through. Yeah, those horsemen are gonna cause a lot of havoc. Not necessarily a lot of that villagers kill although he could but all of these farms are gonna go like all of them oh, another imperial official being taken down so so frustrating losing those over and over again that, I get, that i've been seeing and a few lancers are coming back to deal with this horseman raise but just how you said it's just a, a minor annoyance idle time damage though and this is just allowing sort of just to continue to to mass back up imperial h could start being dropped at any point in time but look at what we just heard starting to count down anatan all three sacred sites and also has three relics so usually that's hre's game usually that's what hre wants to do but anatan has the extra passive gold has the map control yeah he has complete map control and sort of is almost out of wood he has oh, his big... look at the nest of bees going towards the wood line Oof. Oh. oh maybe 
not quite able to get what they needed to do. Keep had a springled placement, so was able to take down one of the nest of bees. Second one is almost dead, uh, so he needs just yeah. His springle should be able to keep this place safe, and he managed to reach Imperial Age with Suavia, but uh, he. Like I was saying, he doesn't have wood. Like, and and like, max population Swabia is way less effective. He has 35 villagers on this gold over here. It's about to go idle in, in 400 gold anyways. Siege is kind of out of place for sort of. Anatan flanks around with his lancers right on top of the siege. Every single siege unit taken down. Crossbow still firing down on the main mass, but needs to watch out for land snakes if they close onto that. Villagers yeah, running he's... out of the gold, Anatan losing his siege, but at the same time, he is trading units, losing his all of his lancers, though, as it was men-at-arms and spears and land snakes, and those lancers do not trade well, well into two out of three of those units. Yeah, this is rough. He, although Anatan manages to keep his entire crossbow mass, uh, that crossbow mass is about to go down really fast. He's son of the land snake. Uh, Managed to get on top of them. Like half of them are already dead, the other half are just running because he's trying to save as many units as he can. And sort of manages manages to manages to destroy the keep that was annoying him on the north. So he was again gonna have access to gold and a little bit more wood. Because like I was saying, he's absolutely low on both of those resources. In fact, he has... Anatan See? needs more production. He has 3,000 food, or I mean wood in the bank, but doesn't have enough production and doesn't have enough food income. Needs more food, needs more granaries. That's what he's dropping. He's dropping more farms, realizes he needs to remass. Has some time, though. He's down 30 military units and sort of starting to push forward, reclaim sacred sites, deny sacred sites. Another keep goes down for Anatan. Uh, so yeah, sort of slowly reclaiming that map control with thanks to his imperial advantage. He has lead horsemen, still only veteran men and spearmen. He really needs to upgrade those. But and he's dropping down a keep on the south beat big goal. He definitely definitely needs that because he doesn't have Pregnis Cathedral. He manages to deny the sacred side victory. Um the key. Yeah, that the big, big key for sort of yeah he reclaims gold right as he runs out and this is an hre powerhouse with regnant's gold this is an hre that's relying from gold on the map and they rely so much on gold with their unit compositions typically horsemen men at arms raiding through the back line attempting to at least burning down the walls tons of vills pulled over but that's not gonna last vills vills run they're all getting taken down Anatan oh, no, this leaves is them time. as a sacrifice. Anatan remassed a ton of army, but that army isn't quite there, isn't quite where it needs to be. Wall going to be put, re-wall put down, but that wall's out his own units. There is one left right there looking for a clump of villagers. If he manages to find it, it's just going to be absolutely terrifying. Look at him, just running with the horsemen. Like, let me at him, let me at him. Where are they? Yeah, Lancer's able to at least distract a good amount of the units, but Horseman chasing down more and more of those villagers on the farms. Anatan finds himself lacking in the villager count by 10 at this point, but should be able to stabilize, should be fine on the resources in just a second. As we saw the rewall happen, his military just was walled out and he could not get there to actually help out the Vils. Oh, that Langshne finally manages to get one villager, two villagers. It could have, oh, was so promising, but didn't pay. Still a few horsemen, still a few more units, still alive. Yeah, look at these walls. <laughs> They're trying to wall each other. And Anatan is actually about to wall in, what is that, 15 villagers. Yeah, but those villagers are under a keep, so they're sort of safe, but still, it's, it's really, really important because if uh, that keep manages to go down, those villagers are going to die. Yep, Absolutely. and 
sort of starting to clear up this northern side of the map. Anatan was building some like proxy outposts and being annoying. Still is. Stone about to be mined out on that massive stone node that sort of was on. And he is also reclaiming northern side gold for himself. But will Anatan have vision of this? He probably has an idea. Not sure if he knows the southern side gold has been claimed because I'm sure that's one of his plans to move out to that gold here in just a little bit. Yeah, Anathan manages to get to Imperial. But still in Song Dynasty, I feel like he should be looking to switch to Juan or Mink soon. But I know that spite will be expensive. We have a fight on the northern side, Culverins. Pretty good dodge of the Manganels, but Anatan has the horseman diving on that back line. Had another Manganel shot. Pretty solid one, but Spear Way healing starting to activate, starting to come in. Lancers helping with that back line. Prelates, though, healing as well. Trebuchets even helping the fight for Sword of. Moves up with his Manganel as he circles the range mass, and every single one of those range units gets taken down. Anatan is taken down with those range mass. There is nothing more he can do, and he's going on to game number two. Absolutely insane match.